Overall then, if you're wanting to get out and about over the weekend, it looks like Saturday's the day for that. Sunday, perhaps more of a case of curling your toes up on the sofa with a good book and perhaps your favourite mug of coffee. As Thanks very much, Sadiq. I think I'll be taking your advice and joining you on the sofa with that book on Sunday. <laughs> yes, no, well, excellent. More on all that on the website, of course. Lovely. Sadiq, thanks. Well, that's just about it Yes, OK, it thank you, Siobhan. We'll I think we... Yes, that'd be good, isn't it? I'm just saying here. Let, let's not... I mean, he's so vain, it's practically coming out of his ears. By early evening, it's two hours later. But in the shared innovation space, the Way Ahead task force is still searching for the Way Ahead in its mission to set some new and better BBC inclusivity targets. I mean, just thinking laterally for a moment. Yes, very good. All right, OK. Is it worth thinking about coming at this whole thing the other way round? Ian is particularly keen to resolve the matter by the end of the meeting because as BBC Head of Values, he's been invited to speak at a meeting of the Cross-Parliamentary Cultural Inclusion Action Watchdog Group at the Palace of Westminster in 10 days' time. I mean, is there a way of committing to the idea of reducing the number of non-BAME and LGBT people by a percentage figure? Ah, oh, brilliant. So that gradually over time, you'd increase the proportion... Hang on, now we're of... sacking white guys as well. Well, you... At this rate, there's going to be nobody bloody left. Bummer. But... I know this is difficult, but can I just remind everybody what a serious undertaking this is? OK, OK, OK. So, guys, here's the thing with us. We've been going for, like, three hours here, right? We're nailing jelly to the hothouse wall. What? So what you do here is you viralise the weather dude with a beard. Suddenly it's like none of this other shit matters. Right, no. Viralise him? Brilliant. No, I think we've had enough about him already, Siobhan. You so have not had enough about him already. It's a no-brainer. He's your only hope here. I'm sorry, Siobhan. It's a BBC London weather forecaster you're talking about here. He's not Martin Luther King. I mean, I think that's probably a bit melodramatic. It totally is megadramatic. That's what we're looking for here, right? Well, no. Because otherwise, I'm telling you, with shit like inclusivity, you open your mouth at this cross-parliamentary action dog, whatever, you pretty much bought a one-way ticket to Yawnsville right there. Brilliant. I mean, am I right or am I right? Well, that's... I'm right, OK? No, very good. Yes, I'm very strong.